What's up, family? What's going on? What's going on? What's good? What's good? What's good, guys? How we doing, brothers and sisters, kings and queens? What's up, champs? What's up, champ? Let's go, champs. Let's go be amazing, champs. Quick question, you guys. Are we living with enthusiasm, you guys? Are we living with inspiration? Are we living with imagination? Are we living with the purpose of creating something good instead of destroying something great that was given to us? Destroying our lives? Destroying everybody else's lives around us and not taking responsibility for our own actions? Or are we waking up with enthusiasm and being glad, honored, realizing that we're privileged and blessed to wake up and live another day? Well, welcome, you guys. Praise one, love one, God only, Polo go checking in, welfare check. Oh, man. So we're at mid-month of September 2024. Hope that the second half of this month is a great one for you and much better than the first half. And it's built off of the moment that the momentum that we have created. Okay, you guys. So picture this. We're near the holiday season, right? So now everybody's getting excited, right? Oh, Christmas. What am I going to get for Christmas, right? Picture this. Your birthday's is uh, coming up in a couple of weeks. Oh, so everybody's getting excited or you're getting excited, right? Okay, now picture this. Christmas and your birthday come and pass. How are we acting with the, the remaining days are we all sad and pissed off still? Or are we still with the same enthusiasm that we had before Christmas got here, before our birthday got here, you guys? How are we living, you guys? With enthusiasm? Or are we just complaining, saying, same-ish, different day? No way, you guys. It can't be that way, you guys. We get the privilege, blessing, and honor to live with enthusiasm Every day that we are blessed to wake up, you guys. Now, when we decide to change our will and our ways over to care of God voluntarily, and we could have done this since we were little or as we got older or what have you, but the moment we we start trusting God completely, it doesn't mean everything's going to be okay, you guys. No, 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 no. We're, we are all loving, uh, infinite spiritual beings of light inside of a finite physical body this human body but we all we all just want to be loved we all just want to have peace we all just want to live in peace we all just want to enjoy our days enjoy our lives we do and the moment that we step out of the the regular routine of you did me wrong i'm gonna do you wrong uh the moment we step out of the regular routine of uh being common and uh not wanting to forgive other people but now we do want to forgive people for what they did and now we want to do things different we realize that hey i could have died and i was able to walk away from a tragedy i got spared and i was granted an opportunity and we and we realize that and we start living different it doesn't mean that everybody else is going to be on on, on board or they're going to support us no it doesn't you guys but it doesn't matter because god supports us god validates us and we don't need no validation from nobody you guys only god's validation is the only thing that's required and he validates us god loves you god is proud of you god believes in you we are proud of you we believe you oh yes Oh, yes. And we're praying that you get up, you dust yourself off, and let's go, let's go, let's go. Don't stay stuck in the, oh, what happened? And listen, everybody, this is what happened. Oh, don't stay stuck in, oh, this person tra- treated me wrong. Don't stay stuck in, I'm treating people good, and they're just they're just uh, taking advantage of me, walking all over me. No, 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 no. God validates us. He loves us. He wakes us up. So let's wake up with enthusiasm. Now, let's break down the word enthusiasm. Enthusiasm means the God within you, which is basically God within you. Now, let me ask you once again, if we were to hide God, where would be the best place to hide God? No right or wrong answers, whatever you think. Okay. Now, the best place to hide God would be inside of you and inside of me. And we are a direct extension from the creator, from the most high, from the source, from the universe, from God. That means the same powers that were used to create the universe, to create this TV, to create this music, the symphony, to create uh, uh, the couches, the cars, the cell phones was created, was used when we were created. The same 
energy, the same power. And that means we're connected to God directly. So we are an extension of God and we have the same power. But we gotta be emotionally in alignment with the spirit of abundance. If we're dealing with emotion, if we're connected or in a, if we're out of alignment and we're just being negative and we're not living with enthusiasm, that means we're pushing God out and we're trying to do it our way. Now God translated means love, love, enthusiasm. God within us. So the love, the love of God that is within each and every one of us. Now, some of us choose to share that love with everybody and some don't. Some are envious. Some are betting that you're going to fall off. Some are betting that you're lying. Some are betting that we are not doing things right and they want us to act, talk, and, and respond and, and live how they want us to live. But we can't. We have to follow God's plan, God's time, and God's way. And if God woke you up today, it's better. It behooves you. It behooves you to wake up with enthusiasm because not everybody woke up today. Someone's locked up in prison. Someone's in a hospital bed. Someone just got shot and murdered. But we were able to wake up and walk around and live another day and, and, and cling on to God's word and, and learn and use this day as preparation day. So do you think it's in our best ben benefit to live with enthusiasm wake up with enthusiasm now it doesn't mean everything's gonna be easy things are gonna come our way storms are gonna come our way but god is with us and plus say you treat someone good right and they don't understand you and they treat you bad they don't like it when you're happy they don't like it when you're smiling they don't they don't like the changes that you're making in life and they treat you bad they throw you under the bus they lie on you they treat you like you're less than they treat you like you're crazy they doubt us they they're betting on us they, that we that we're that we're no good and it doesn't matter because god loves us now when we run across people or situations where they're treating us bad hey shake it off shake it off tell them hey you know, of course, we got to stand up for ourselves and be like, hey, I don't appreciate what you're doing or what you're saying. I forgive you, but I got to keep going and go on your merry way. And uh, then they'll know, oh, man, I can't play with this person that way. Or, oh, man, they finally told me something and they told me something uh, directly. And th the only thing, it, it, we have to be emotionally mature. We can't be screaming and acting out crazy. We can't be getting drunk. We can't be doing stuff like that. We got to be emotionally mature and focused because you know that God is with us. Now, say some days pass and you bump into that same person again or oh, a couple months pass, a couple weeks. Hey, you walk in there like you walk into let's walk into every room like we are a king and a queen, a child of the most high. Let's walk in there shining like we're champs and amazing things are happening. When you walk into the room that way, there might be 20 people and only two won't dig us. Doesn't matter. Talk to the other 18. Of course, say hi to everybody. How you doing? Good to see you. How you doing? Good. Because we have class. Because we're kings and queens. Because my happiness is my responsibility. My future is my responsibility. My well-being is my responsibility. My healing and responsibility. And the reason why we do this and we wake up with enthusiasm, we go to every room with enthusiasm, we end the night with enthusiasm, is because we're, we are trying to make sure that we stay healthy mentally, physically, and spiritually. But if we allow someone who's miserable to take us out of whack or take us out of alignment, it's not their fault. It's my fault. There should be nothing exterior that should happen on the outside exterior, a storm or something happens that should affect my interior, how I feel about myself. I know God loves me. I know God validates me. And that's all I need to know. And that's all that matters. Because guess what? When we are dealing with family that treat us bad, it's just another opportunity. Every moment is an opportunity for us to share the same grace, mercy, patience, love, and forgiveness with them, just like God did with us. How patient has God been with us? Very patient. How loving, how merciful, how graceful? Very, very graceful, uh, merciful, very patient and loving and forgiving. He's been with us. So that's one level. Now we, we join God's crusade where we're following God's guidance. And then the next level is when people do that to us, we got to be patient, loving, forgiving, merciful, and, and grace with them. That's a whole nother level. Why? Because then we want to take it to the next level. Why? Because then we want to take it to the next level. Always doing things right. So when we make it about ourselves, no, you guys, no. The other person's suffering. We don't know what they're going through. They're lost. They're blind. I'm legally blind. And if I'm going to wait, for my vision to come back, for me to be happy, I'm wasting a lot of time. And if I'm waiting for my eyes, my vision to get clear, or there's an operation or someone's gonna donate eyes to me, for me to be happy, 
I'm going to be angry and treating people wrong that I shouldn't be doing that. And I'm going to be mistreating my body. And that's not the way it goes. Let's wake up with enthusiasm because I know one day my vision is going to get clear because I'm going to be emotionally aligned with the spirit of abundance. And we have the power to heal ourselves. And when we do, then we glorify God and we use it as a living testimony of how great God is. But if we allow anybody that is not in an agreement with us, in agreement with God, and they put us down, and we allow that to get us out of alignment and out of focus, then they won, and then they say, look, they haven't even changed. So don't take it to heart. Let's live with enthusiasm. Let's work on not taking nothing personal and have a personal relationship with God. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare victory because he who the Son says free is free indeed, and I believe that I am free. Thank God Almighty. And... Stand behind me, saying, for you have no authority over me, for it is written, I rebuke in the name of Jesus Christ, for what the enemy brought for evil, God will turn and use for good. Amen. Let's go. Let's go, you guys. Now, also, if you're looking to earn extra income, if you're not making enough, if inflation is, is, is getting too hard for us, if you're tired of working a nine to five and living paycheck to paycheck, hit me up. Drop me a message. Comment. And we will get together. We'll have a meeting in the minds of anybody in the United States because you do deserve better. And I'm in a great position to help as many people live the best life ever, glorifying God, owning our own business, starting on our spare time, and um, getting out of debt. And make sure no one's taking advantage of in your family, in our communities, and uh, making a difference, you guys. That's what's up. So with that being said, praise one. Love one, God only. Polo go checking in and checking out. And let's go be amazing, you guys. Oh, yes. September's our month. This is it. Let's go, champs. Let's go, champs. Let's go be amazing.